Can you learn the three set operations in 90 seconds? The union operator yields each distinct row from the two input tables, so we retain one, two, and three while removing the duplicate of one. The union all operator just yields all the rows in the first table and all the rows in the second table. We can see our resulting table on the right. The intersect operator takes the distinct rows that appear in both of the input tables. One appears in both tables, so it is included in the result. Two and three are only in one table, so they are not included. The intersect all operator yields rows for pairs of table one and table two. We can create two pairs of rows from the two tables that have the same value, so we get the paired row for each pair. There's a third value of one in the first table, but it can't find its own match in the second table, so it is just ignored. The accept operator yields all the distinct values in table one that are not present in table two. We can see that we have a couple of entries of one in table one, but we don't retain it because there is also a one in the second table. We can see we have entries of two in table one. There is no value of two in the second table, so we add the value of two to our resulting table. For accept all, we first just take table one. Then we iterate through the second table and remove those values from our resulting table. First, we remove a one. Next, we try to remove a three, but just don't do anything since there is no value of three to remove. You can see our resulting table on the right. Let's apply one of these on the SQL Guild website. Note that our website uses SQLite, so it does not support the command intersect all or the command accept all directly. You can see that we just put our set operation in between two queries to do our set operations. A link to practice coding questions for the set operators will be added in the description of this video by March 3rd, 2024, with a problem walkthrough video to accompany it.